Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to the channel, I'm Dolores, and I like to make videos surrounding creative stuff like making stickers and general gaming stuff. As you saw a second ago, I was playing Super Mario Maker 2. Have you ever wondered how you can play that game on your HP computer? Well, I can show you. If you just give me four minutes of your time, I will show you how to set it up and you'll be playing Nintendo Switch 2 on your HP computer. So stay tuned. So to get this process started, all you need is your Nintendo Switch, a HDMI cable, your Switch dock and an HP computer. Okay, to start off this process, you need to open up an application on your HP computer called HP Display Controls. Now, just so you guys know, I'm using the latest version of Windows 10. I am not sure if later versions of Windows 10 will work the same way. And if they don't, this may not be the video for you. But if you're still unsure of what to do, feel free to pop me a message in the comment section and I will try my best to find it out for you and help you. So, how this process works is you just go to the little tab here and type in H, whoops, HP Display Control. But as you can see, it's already there anyway. So you just click on here and this box will come up. Now, all of these little options are literally just for your eyesight. So my one's on standard because it looks better in terms of color, especially because switch displays are very bright. The rest of them are like optimized for maybe the time of day or your vision, for example, like some of these are like night and reading or just low light if you get a lot of eye strain so if you have sensitive eyes I do recommend that you use the lower settings just so you don't hurt your eyes okay now that this is done let me show you how to insert all the little bits and bobs okay to start off this process you're gonna need the switch dock so you're gonna need this lovely little thing right here okay so all you have to do is turn it around and open this flap right at the back okay and all you need to do is insert the HDMI out and the power adapter so we've got that here and we've got that right here so all we have to do is just insert the power adapter and this is just so that your switch charges and it also connects to your computer so let's just insert that right here can see I'm just popping that in there and then you get the HDMI out and you pull it in there as well this one's a little bit wonky but it still works very well it's very old unfortunately but I've got a new one so you put this HDMI in the out pot out port just at the bottom so right there there we go so you should have two lovely ports at the back there we go and it should look like this so now all you have to do is close it and put this right back on the dock after you've added the hdmi output don't forget to put the hdmi import at the back of your hp computer so it should look as simple as just popping it in there next step is to make sure this green light is showing on your dock. If it's not, a simple solution to this is literally just to take um, the main plug out and pull it back in and then it will literally reset and do that. And it has to be green for this process. Now with the switch light green and everything is all set up, all you literally need to do now is press HDMI input and that's basically the, the port that you literally put the other side of the HDMI cable in. You click it and you follow the instructions on the screen. So as it says, press Control Shift SD. And there you have it. Your game is literally displaying whichever one is in there. And it basically uses your, your system sound in order to play the music. So yeah, that's exactly how 
you can get your game playing on your HP computer. And to exit the game, it's pretty much the same process. You just press Control Shift SD and it goes back to your normal screen. So that's literally how you connect your Nintendo Switch to your HP computer. I hope this video is helpful. If it wasn't, please leave me feedback in the comment section and I'll be sure to make sure I research it and look for any solutions that you guys may have. Now, thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please leave me a like on the video because it really, really helps. And if you wanna see more, feel free to subscribe. Anyways, have a lovely day and hope to see you soon.